In this problem, we're going to differentiate this function. So there is a formula for the derivative of arc cosine that we'll need in order to do this problem. So recall, if you have the derivative with respect to x of the arc cosine of x, this is equal to, so if it's arc sine, it's just 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this would be the derivative of arc sine. So the arc cosine is really easy to remember because it's exactly the same except it has a negative sign. So that's the only difference. So the way I do this one is I just know for arc sine, it's positive. For arc cosine, it's negative. Okay, so here we have the arc cosine of x over 3. So it might be beneficial to rewrite this in another way before we take the derivative because we do have to use the chain rule. So this is arc cosine of 1 third x. Now let's go ahead and apply the derivative. The 8 is a constant, so it just kind of hangs out. So g prime of x is equal to, so the 8 hangs out, I'll leave it over here, times the derivative of arc cosine. So we know this is the formula, so I'll put it in parentheses here, negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus, then we have this quantity squared, so 1 third x quantity squared times the derivative of the inside function. That's why I rewrote it, because I thought, you know, we're going to have to take the derivative of x over 3 at some point, so it's easier if we think of it as 1 third x, because now when you take the derivative, the derivative of x is 1, so we're just left with 1 third. The last thing maybe to do is multiply the 1 third and the 8 and pull out the negative. So this is negative 8 thirds times 1 over the square root of 1 minus, let's go ahead and multiply this out as well. If we square the x, if we square the 1 third, we get 1 ninth, so I'll write it like that. Square the x, you get x squared. And that would be the final answer. This would be the derivative of little g. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.